Leviton's VXC coupler is a cost-effective cable termination device which may be used as a consolidation point to connect two sections of horizontal cable or may be used to create a durable modular plug connection for wireless access points, video cameras, and other ceiling mounted devices where it is desirable to terminate a horizontal cable with a plug. In this video we will demonstrate the use of the VXC coupler and one half of a patch cord to create a modular plug termination. Due to the difficulty of field crimping a plug onto cables, performance can vary from crimp to crimp. Also, many field terminated plugs are too large to fit in some devices. The VXC provides an easy way to achieve reliable plug terminations using a patch cord with standard size plugs. This connection is called a Modular Plug Terminated Link, or MPTL. It should also be noted that the VXC may be used with 24 gauge or 26 gauge cords. 28 gauge cords are not recommended. No proprietary tools are required to terminate the VXC coupler, just standard hand tools. A cable strip tool, a flush cutter, a cable cutting tool, and a small screwdriver. The VXC coupler can be used with any 24 or 26 gauge shielded or unshielded Category 6 or Category 6A patch cord. Here we are using a Leviton 6AS10 Category 6A patch cord which has a shielded construction. We will be using half of the cord to wire the VXC coupler. The VXC coupler package includes the VXC coupler, two wire managers, one black and one white, and two cable ties. To create a modular plug terminated link, one side of the VXC coupler is terminated on the end of the horizontal cable. The other side of the VXC coupler will be terminated with one half of a patch cord. To start, strip three inches of jacket from the shielded cord, taking care not to nick the foil, the drain wire, or the pair insulation. This exposes sufficient length of drain wire to ensure proper shield termination. Pull back foil and drain wire, foil must be metal side out. Some shielded patch cord constructions may require a half twist when pulling the foil back. If the shielded patch cord has a mesh braid, the braid may be combed out and twisted together to form a drain wire. Remove the cable center spline, taking care not to damage pairs, foil, or drain wire. Other patch cords may vary in their construction, but cable preparation will be similar. Thread the pairs into the wire manager per the T568A or T568B wiring pattern. Observing pair polarity, pull each wire into its proper slot in the wire manager. Trim all wires flush with the sides of the wire manager. Place the prepared wire manager on one side of the VXC coupler with the arrow on the wire manager and the arrow on the device door pointing the same direction. Close the device doors onto the wire manager, terminating the wires. Take care to ensure that the foil and drain wire elements do not get caught in the device doors. Loosely cinch one of the included cable ties around the cable near the device rear stanchion. Wrap the full three inches of drain wire around the stanchion, making sure that the drain wire sits in the stanchion grooves. At least two full wraps of the drain wire should be achieved. Position the cable tie over the drain wire and secure the cable and drain wire to the device. It helps to secure the drain wire if the drain and cable tie are wrapped in the same direction. Cut off the excess foil and the cable tie tail. Any link terminating in a modular plug must be tested as an MPTL. This test is performed using a patch cord adapter on the plug end of the link. The patch cord adapter must be the same category rating as the cable being tested. For further details, consult the tester manufacturer or go to leviton.com slash cat6a guide to review the testing section. If the VXC needs to be reopened for rewiring or reuse, Cut the cable tie with flush cutters, unwind the drain wire, then use a small screwdriver to gently pry open the latch points of the device doors. When the doors are open, gently pry the wire manager away from the contacts. A user provided cable tie may be used when re-terminating the VXC coupler. The proper cable tie size is 100 millimeters by 2.5 millimeters. 
An instruction sheet may be found at leviton.com VXC. Click on the VXC coupler, then click Support Downloads.